Hi there. In the last learning video, we have started the topic where the functionals are dependent on higher order derivatives. Continuing that topic, we have taken a problem and in this learning video also we are going to take a problem with some variety. Okay, so let us see this problem. This problem says find extremal of this functional. Okay, so I would like to tell you what is the difference between the first example and this but let me do few uh, steps of this first. So what is given to us? We are given that the functional f is equal to so you can write let f is equal to what is it? y double dash square minus 2 y dash square plus y square minus 2y sin x. So this is the functional we have and as you can see the higher order derivative involved in this functional is y double dash. So I need to write down the Euler equation like del f by del y minus d dx of del f by del y dash plus d2 by dx square of del f by del y double dash equal to 0. So what I need to find out is first of all del f by del y what is del f by del y? Is there a term of y? No. Is there a term of y? No. Yes. There are terms of y over here. So what is the derivative of y square 2y minus derivative of this with respect to y. So rest of the thing is constant. So this is minus 2 sin x. Okay. Now what is uh, next we have to find out del f by del y dash. So what is del f by del y dash? There is a term of y dash over here. So minus 2 and derivative of y dash square is 2y dash. And that is minus 4y dash. And then we have del f by, we have to find out del f by del y double dash. And there is a term of y double dash in the, uh, the very first term in f. So its derivative is 2y double dash. Is it okay? So whenever you have find out uh, problems on this type, so the very first step you can do is write down the function f and find out all the derivatives. Step number one over. Okay. Next you have to write down the uh, Euler's equation. So extremals are given by extremals are given by. So extremals are given by what? By the Euler's equation by the Euler's equation namely what would be my Euler's equation del f by del y minus d dx of del f by del y dash plus d2 by dx square of del f by del y double dash is equal to 0. Simple. Now you have the values or derivatives that we have found out you have the Euler's equation substitute. So when you substitute all these values, you'll be getting where it is. Yeah. Two, I can take two common from here. So this is y minus sin x. Yeah, that's correct. Minus d dx of minus d dx of del f by del y dash is this. So this is minus 4y dash plus d2 by dx square of what is it del f by del y double dash okay now with immediate effect just remove 2 throughout so on dividing by 2 you can write this equation as y minus sin x minus minus this plus to remove to remain ddx of ddx of y dash plus 2 removed so actually I can write this one as ddx1 and ddx so this is 2y double dash and we are we are doing two step at the same time so removing dividing by 2 also and applying the derivative so this is y4 dash is equal to 0 okay now as you know this uh, this can be written in terms of operator d so what I can do here is I can write it as uh, writing this d to the power 4y plus this d square y 
plus y and I am taking this function of x on the right hand side sin x okay now uh, if you you can here specify what is d d is nothing but the differential operator so next thing uh, is you can take common Now we have this equation in the last problem that we have taken in the last learning video here we have zero that's why we have found out the complementary function and that would my that would be my uh, solution to that equation and that was the general uh, solution and that is the uh, required x one but here we have to find out pi because at the right hand side we have some function of x namely sin x here so let us first of all find out its cf as well as its pi okay so okay so its auxiliary equation is its auxiliary equation is what is its auxiliary equation put d is equal to m so m power 4 2m square plus 1 is equal to 0 now this is m square plus 1 whole square right yes m square plus 1 whole square m square plus 1 whole square is it so you can find out actually with the help of calculator this is m square plus 1 is equal to 0 twice so m square plus 1 equal to 0 so m square m square is equal to minus 1 therefore m is equal to plus minus i but it was a square so two times you have to write down plus minus i and plus minus i so these are the uh, roots i am getting you can actually directly write here after this uh, auxiliary equation you can make use of the calculator and you can just write m is equal to plus minus i and plus minus i okay now after you uh, get that uh, things like the roots you can certainly write down the complementary function so let me write down the complementary function for the roots plus minus i so see as you can see the nature of the root is plus minus i that is complex so it falls under the third rule of uh, complementary function which says write down it like uh, e to the power 0x into c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and as the roots are repeated so i can multiply by x e to the power 0x c3 cos x plus c4 sin x okay you can write like that is the cf is equal to e to the power 0 is 1 so this is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus x into c3 cos x plus x into c4 sin x we can combine therefore cf is equal to c1 plus c3 x times cos x collecting the like terms and then the remaining one c2 plus c4x sin x okay so this is my cf now what i am going to find out is the pi okay now pi is equal to 1 upon i can actually write this uh, d to the power 4 plus uh, 2d square plus 1 into sin x okay now we have sin x on the right hand side so this uh, falls under the second rule of pi which says put d square is equal to minus of a a means coefficient of x so minus of 1 square that is minus 1 we get so what we get we get pi So, P 
pi is equal to 1 upon okay so we get what we get we get minus 1 power 4 can be written as minus 1 square square so minus 1 square because d square is minus 1 so minus 1 square writing power 4 as d square square okay then plus plus 2 into d square is minus 1 plus 1 so what it gives you minus 2 plus 2 0 case fails so case fails so whenever case fails then what we do we apply the mantra of case failure case of failure which says multiply numerator by x differentiate denominator with respect to d okay into right hand side as it is simple now what you can do is you can just take uh, d outside 1d common you can write it as 1 upon 4d common so this is a d square plus 1 into sin x again substitute d square as minus 1 again it would be 0 so again you can write put d square is equal to minus 1 minus of 1 whole square that is minus 1 we get we get 4 into d into d square plus 1 is equal to 4 into we cannot substitute the value of d minus 1 plus 1 equal to 0 so again 0 again case fails ok so if case fails again apply case of failure so this is multiply numerator by x again so it becomes now x square into uh, I am going to differentiate this so this would be because it is easy to differentiate so this is 12 d square plus 4 into sin x again put d square is equal to minus 1 the moment you put d square equal to minus 1 so denominator is not comes out to be 0 so you will be getting your you will be getting your pi or here so what is my pi my pi is x square by minus 8 into sin x ok if you want me I can write it precisely minus x square by 8 into sin x ok so this is my pi so I have got my c I have found out just now the pi so I can write down the general solution therefore the general solution is this is the general solution of higher order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficient y is equal to c f plus pi okay here you can uh, we forget to write where c1 c2 c3 and c4 are uh, arbitrary constants arbitrary constants okay so write down the general solution that is y is equal to what is my ca c1 plus c3x into cos x plus c2 plus c4x into sin x plus pi what is my pi x square by 8 sin x so this is the solution of that uh, higher order differential equation and this is nothing but the extremals for the given functional we can write here this is the required this is the required extremal for the given functional okay so I hope this is making sense and uh, in the first example we have taken where we have to find out just say complementary function here we have to find a complementary function as well as particular integral in next learning video we will take a problem where we have to find out CFPI both 
plus some condition will be given to you and we have to find out these constants, arbitrary constants. Okay, so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics.